Raise your hand if you like the new Apps app in macOS. Yeah, that's what I thought. The Apps app inside of macOS Tahoe has replaced the macOS Launchpad, and I have seen nothing but negativity about the Apps app. Spotlight sometimes has its re-indexing issues and a whole lot of other issues that just, and just combining Spotlight and just replacing Launchpad with Spotlight, that just wasn't a really good move inside of Tahoe. Even with workarounds getting fixed inside of the beta versions of macOS with Tahoe, there's actually one last thing that cannot be patched at all to bring Launchpad back to macOS. And it is LaunchOS. In fact, calling it a Launchpad replacement is kind of an understatement. I would say LaunchOS is probably more of what Launchpad could have been if Apple kept it inside of macOS Tahoe. It's actually very customizable. You can have a separate app icon instead of just the default. You can change the app icon to be the actual launch pad or even the classic launch pad if Apple were to have never changed it to the apps buttons at all, which I think is kind of a nice touch, but personally I prefer having the launch OS icons be just like that. It even has full support for hot corners. So if you want the top left of your screen to activate launch pad, well, there's your launch pad. You can even customize its interface. You could have a full glass effect, which is probably what Apple would have done, or you could just have it set to your system wallpaper. You could have it blurred. You could have it just like that. It's just very customizable what you can do. Now, something I really like about LaunchOS is that everything that would have been inside of Launchpad is actually completely free, but they do have some ways that you could customize it to make it an even better experience. You could actually have your LaunchOS be scrollable just like this. In fact, I actually kind of prefer using it with scrolling. Especially since I'm using my Mac mini right now and I don't really have a good way to side scroll. Everything just seems very customizable. You could also customize how big or how small your apps are. So you could just make it the default or you could have more apps fit inside of your launch pad. And something I personally really like about LaunchOS is that you're able to have full screen mode. Now for some reason I never was a fan of having your dock inside the launch pad. But with full screen mode, you could actually get rid of it right away, which I think is a really nice feature. And of course, if you have external hard drives, you could actually add some of your applications that you keep inside of here. And it's just overall very customizable. You no longer need to have aliases inside of your applications folder anymore. You could just have LaunchOS show up with your apps that are stored inside of your external hard drive. Now, I was the one who found LaunchOS and I was the one who actually reached out to them. And we're doing a little giveaway for you. LaunchOS is giving away five free premium versions of LaunchOS. All you gotta do is go in the Discord server down below, go over to the giveaway channel and, and tell us what version of macOS is your favorite and why it's your favorite of all time. Now, Launchpad inside of macOS has felt abandoned for a very long time. And LaunchOS is just a breath of fresh air with a whole lot of new features that we have not went over yet. It has a full liquid glass design and it has the keyboard shortcuts that are inside of Launchpad. And you can even rename your apps as well, which is actually pretty cool. And it's almost like if Apple has not abandoned Launchpad and has given it features, this is what it would have been. Thanks to for LaunchOS for sponsoring this video, and we'll be giving away five free full versions of LaunchOS down in the Discord server down below. And thanks for watching, come on, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!